Hey guys. So I decided that emotionally I think I was ready to uh, go ahead and glue uh, this piece, which is the front canopy, uh, to the hoop frame. And but you know after looking at it, there's just these little tiny specks. I don't know if you can see them or not, but um, they're just very tiny specks and imperfections uh, in the glass. And I've been kind of putting this off because this is this whole next process is a little bit terrifying to me. But um, I decided I'm going to sand those out. So I've been reading a number of threads where they talk about this on rcscalebuilder.com and so um, I've gotten my stuff together here this is my thing of 600 wet and uh, this is a thousand wet I don't own any 800 so we'll see what happens I'll go to a thousand and and then I've got some uh, um, polishing compound, but we'll see how this goes. I figure I'll start with the 600 and just see where this went. Also, I'm using a, a very small, thin Dura block, and uh, okay, we'll get started here in a second. Get everything good and wet to start. And then I'm just going to sand. I'm just going to throw a little caution to the wind and it all foggy sure enough definitely getting a nice um, scratchy canopy now see that it's no longer clearish all right now I'm going to go at it from a 90 degree different angle Got a pretty uniform foggy color to it now. Because those imperfections are a feature of the vacuum molding process, uh, they are present on the inside and the outside of the glass. Uh, so I will be sanding the inside and the outside. So, next up, I'm going to hit it with some thousand. 
we're all done. It's actually, it feels really smooth. Uh, obviously it's um, very cloudy looking. Um, not really sure. I guess I should probably rinse it all out really good and maybe take a look at it. Um, dry it and get a look at it. See if I got all the imperfections out. So, um, let me grab a cloth. All right, so I cleaned it and dried it off, and it is amazing how smooth it feels. Um, I can, in the right light, see. A few remaining little tiny micro bubbles, uh, but I can't feel them. So, you know what? I'm not even going to worry about them. I don't know if you can see any of them here or not, but I'm not going to worry about them because there's still a lot of polishing left to do, and so they're going to get diminished even further uh, through this process. So, I'm going to go ahead and hit it with 1,000 and get everything nice and wet. And just like before. At this point, I'm doing everything in circles. I like to I like to let the water hit the piece that I'm working on, and the water then flows downhill underneath the sandpaper. And the sanding motion moves the water and the removed material downhill and off the piece. And I've moved back to the inside surface. Which is a little bit more awkward. Of course. This is a new piece of thousand grit. We use a new piece on the outside and then toss it for a new piece to start the inside. Because it's so awkward to get the inside with, even though the dirt block is flexible, once I've gone through the entire inside surface using the dirt block, I just, I don't know, I feel like, I, I may not have like 100% coverage because it's a concave surface. The inside of a concave surface. So, I'm going back over it. the same piece of thousand grit and just going over it again by hand. So I just want to make sure that I'm getting everywhere. So maybe I'm getting everywhere 17 times, but that's better than not getting somewhere once or twice. Okay. Well, that's not very much fun. All right, so 
Uh, from where you're standing, it probably looks very much the same as it did a few minutes ago. And uh, from where I'm standing, it looks very much the same as it did a very few minutes ago. So I'll bring you back for the next step.